Every morning before we even fully open our eyes, our bodies perform a small, almost ceremonial act. We stretch our arms overhead, arch our backs, spread our fingers, and take a deep breath. It feels automatic, instinctive, so natural that we rarely question it. But why do we do this? Why does stretching feel so good right after waking up, as if our body is rebooting itself after a long night offline? This simple movement, known as pandiculation, isn't just a habit or a sign of laziness lingering in bed. It's a deeply rooted biological response shaped by evolution, neurology, and muscle physiology. Today, we're uncovering the hidden science behind that satisfying morning stretch and why your body insists on doing it every single day. Let's explore right here on History of Simple Things. When you sleep, your body enters a state of reduced movement for hours at a time. Your muscles relax, your posture stays mostly fixed, and your nervous system shifts into maintenance mode. While this rest is essential for recovery, it comes with a small cost. Muscles that aren't used for long periods become slightly stiff, and blood circulation slows in certain areas. Tiny muscle fibers can shorten just a bit, joints remain compressed, and the communication between your brain and muscles becomes quieter. By the time you wake up, your body isn't injured or damaged, but it is, in a sense, idling. Stretching is the ignition key that starts everything back up. That first stretch sends a powerful signal through your nervous system. When you extend your arms, legs, and spine, specialized sensors in your muscles and tendons wake up and report back to your brain. These sensors measure tension, length, and position, helping your brain recalibrate where your body is in space. This feedback loop reestablishes muscle tone, the slight, constant contraction that keeps you upright and ready to move. Without this recalibration, your movements would feel sluggish and uncoordinated. Stretching, therefore, isn't just about loosening muscles, it's about restoring control and precision. Another key reason stretching feels so good in the morning is circulation. During sleep, your heart rate drops and blood flow becomes more evenly distributed. When you stretch, you compress and release blood vessels, acting like a pump that pushes oxygen-rich blood into muscles and organs. This surge delivers nutrients, clears out metabolic waste, and warms tissues that have cooled overnight. That rush of blood is partly responsible for the pleasant, energizing sensation you feel during a stretch. It's your body transitioning from rest mode to action mode in real time. Stretching also plays a crucial role in protecting you from injury. Cold, stiff muscles are more prone to strains, especially if you jump straight into movement. By stretching first, you gently lengthen muscle fibers and increase their elasticity. This prepares them for sudden changes in position, whether that's standing up quickly, lifting an object, or simply walking across the room. In this way, your morning stretch is a built-in safety mechanism, one that reduces the risk of awkward movements turning into painful problems. There's also a fascinating neurological aspect to morning stretching. Stretching activates parts of the brain associated with alertness and awareness. As muscles contract and relax, they stimulate neural pathways that help transition your brain from sleep rhythms to waking rhythms. This is why stretching often pairs naturally with yawning and deep breathing. Together, these actions increase oxygen intake and gently elevate brain activity, helping you feel more awake without sudden stress. It's a smooth biological handoff from sleep to consciousness. From an evolutionary perspective, stretching upon waking makes perfect sense. For early humans and animals alike, 
Waking up meant immediate readiness. There was no snooze button in the wild. Predators, environmental hazards, and the need to move demanded quick action. Stretching helped ensure that muscles, joints, and reflexes were ready to respond at a moment's notice. This instinct remains hardwired into us today, even if our biggest morning danger is spilling coffee instead of escaping a predator. Interestingly, stretching when waking up isn't unique to humans. Many animals, from cats and dogs to birds and primates, perform remarkably similar stretching routines after rest. These movements follow consistent patterns, targeting the spine, limbs, and neck. This universality suggests that stretching is a fundamental biological behavior, not a learned habit. When your cat stretches dramatically after a nap, it's doing the same thing you do every morning, resetting its musculoskeletal and nervous systems for activity. Stretching also has subtle psychological benefits. The act itself is slow, intentional, and grounding. It gives your brain a moment to orient itself before the demands of the day begin. This can reduce feelings of grogginess and even mild stress. In many ways, stretching acts as a physical form of mindfulness, a brief check-in with your body that says, I'm awake, I'm here, and I'm ready. That mental clarity is just as important as the physical effects. So the next time you stretch in the morning, know that it's not random and it's not optional. It's your body performing a carefully tuned ritual, refined over millions of years, to protect you, energize you, and prepare you for movement. That simple reach toward the ceiling is a full system reboot. Muscles warming, nerves firing, blood flowing, and brain waking. And all of it happens before you even think about it. The morning stretch may look small, but it carries a powerful message from your body. Rest is over. Life is starting again. So instead of rushing past it, lean into that stretch. Let it finish its job. Your body has been waiting all night to remind you it knows exactly what it's doing. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.